Tim Crowley dancing around there with excitement. Everything ready now for the start of the All Ireland final. The centre field men in position. Referee Jimmy Rankins having a check of his watch. Kilkenny in the stripes playing from right to left. Jimmy Barry Murphy for Cork. Charlie McCartney coming out. Ger Henderson trying to get in there. Gets there all right. That's a nice pass by Tom Cashman to Jimmy Barry Murphy. Dick O'Hara trying to block his way. Jimmy Barry shot right across. The top of the bar. Jimmy Barry Murphy making the best of a pass from Tom Cashman, sending that one over to make it one point to no score. Noel Skeel with the puck out. Oh, lovely bit of feeling there in the centre by Fred Cummins. And over, no, it's just gone to the right, it's gone wide. Oh, we almost had the equaliser seconds after the opening score. Fred Cummins, who does his club hurling, in Cork, or did anyway, missing that one, but only just. And here is Martin Coleman, with the habit of testing the spring of the stick before he takes his puck. It's a habit of so many players, goalkeepers, and otherwise. Oh, what a lovely bit of feeling there by Ger Henderson. And the referee penalizes Ger McCarthy, and Ger accidentally tripped there as he was passing by Ger Henderson, and the free for Kilkenny just inside the own 45 metre line. Frank Cummins, Chucky O'Brien, John Crowley for Cork, Billy Fitzpatrick for Cork. This is Dennis Corlin. Uh, uh, Billy Fitzpatrick for Kilkenny. That was Dennis Corlin. And this is Van Larkin. Great little fan. Dermot Kurt McCurtain with the ball off his stick, and it's a line ball, a sideline ball. For Kilkenny, to be taken by Richie Reid, just on the Kilkenny 65 metre line. Nicely fielded, but the puck blocked down there. Kevin Fenley's uh, puck blocked down, and Dennis Corley getting it up free. That's Shawnee Leary. And Cher Henderson is down injured on the far side of the field. One or two of the Kilkenny men, not too happy about how it happened, and the referee just to the left of this incident, and that is Ger Henderson, who was down and injured, and the referee having a word with uh, Tim Crowley. And the game going on as Ger Henderson resumes on the far side, I must say, and Ger Henderson running in now to take his position. I was following the action, and for the life of me, I didn't actually see what happened, but certainly there were some annoyed people over there, and they were Kilkenny people. Line ball taken by Joe Hennessy on the far side, and Dennis Cole and feeling it. Jimmy Barry Murphy. Shawnee Leary trying to get into it. Charlie McCartney is there, but no, it's gone wide. Charlie running across from the right wing to the left, getting his stick to the ball, but he, he couldn't get the curve on it, not enough anyway, and the ball went wide. Cork one point, Kilkenny no score. Noel Skeen, and he can get a right crack at a ball. Well, I've seen him hit him longer than that one, but it's a good one. But it goes to Pat Boylan of Cork. Ray Cummins bringing the ball down. Ray takes a shot and it's point number two. No, it's not. It's saved by Noel Skeen. Oh, what a great save. And the referee has gone up to have a word with Shorty Leary for a tackle, or a would-be tackle, on the goalkeeper there. And the referee running back downfield now. The play is going on all this time, apparently. Well, the referee must trust the players up the field a lot, but he went right into the opposite goal and left the play go at the other end. Frank Cummins. Kevin Fennelly. 
Brian Cody trying to get to it. Matt Ruth trying to get to it. Martin Doherty for Cork. This is Tom Cashman for Cork, but he can't keep it in play. And it's gone out over the sideline. A line ball on the far side for Kilkenny. And it's going to be taken by Chunky O'Brien. Is he going to try for a point? No, he didn't. At least I hope he didn't. Tom Cashman. A very short one, but this is John Crowley coming at a solo effort. Ray Cummins coming outfield, trying to leave a room in front of the goal. But Van Larkin gets the battle of that country with him and gets it to Jerry Henderson. Mick Brennan and John Horgan. Matt Ruth and Brian Murphy. Oh, lovely recovery there by Matt and a nice ball. Dennis Paul and Fielding in the goal now of the ball. Yes, in the net, it's a goal. It's a goal by Chucky O'Brien. A goal by Chucky O'Brien. Here it is again. Here it goes in. No, it wasn't Chucky. In fact, it was uh, Kevin Fennelly who finished it. It was Kevin Fennelly who finished it. And you saw there being scooped in a Kilkenny lead by a goal to a point. After six minutes of play. Good clearance there by Jared Henderson. That's Brian Cody. Matt Root trying to keep it a play, but he doesn't succeed. He doesn't succeed. The ball has gone wide. Score, Kilkenny one goal, Cork one point. A nicely finished goal there. Scooped into the net there by Kevin Fennelly. The man who jumped highest coming out was Chunky O'Brien. I thought for a moment that it was he. It wasn't. It was definitely Kevin Fennelly. Martin Coleman with the puck out. And the cork ball exactly on the halfway line. Kilkenny have settled down a good deal better than they were playing in the first three or four minutes. This is Dermot McCurtain to take the line ball. General McCarthy adding to it up to Charlie. Dick O'Hara trying to keep Charlie off the ball, succeeds, and then with a mighty clearance down the field. Mick Crotty trying to get past John Crowley. Back to Frank Cummins. Frank Cummins penalised for going too far with the ball in his hand, and also for barging, I would say, and there is a free for Cork. And coming up to take it is John Horgan, who holds the extraordinary distinction of being joint top scorer for the Cork team in the championship, even though he plays at left full back. Wide stance. It's high, it's gone to the left, and it's gone wide, and it's still Kilkenny, one goal, Cork, one point. John Horgan, who scored seven points in the championship so far, he would so dearly have loved to have made it at an eight. This is Dermot McCurtain. Jimmy Barry and Audrey, it goes off his man, Richie Reed, and it is a line ball now for Cork, about 60 metres out from their own goal. Dermot McCurtain to take. Gerald McCarthy slipping there, but the ball picked up by Chucky O'Brien. A chapter of errors there. The final stage or semi-final stage there by Mick Crotty. And the referee penalises Kilkenny for a foul tackle on Martin Doherty there. And there's a free out for Cork from their own 45 metre line. John Horgan to take it. One of them is Joe Hennessy, the other is Van Larkin, and the man to take it 
Tim Crowley. Noel Skeen in the centre, over on the left is Van Larkin, and on the right is Joe Hennessy. Tim Crowley, the tall, fair-haired Tim, to take this 21-yard free. It's saved, it's saved by Noel Skeen. Gerald McCarthy trying to get it out. Van Larkin does get it out. Gerald trying to get it right across the goal, but Gerald, but uh, Van got it down the field. Back to Tom Cashman. Cashman shot is good, it's over the bar. Kilkenny one goal, Cork two points. Tom Cashman taking that one, and this lad who started his early career as a goalkeeper, scoring that point to make just one point between them. Mick Crotty to Billy Fitzpatrick. Matt Root lying out of the loose, waiting for a loose one. It doesn't come his way. John Crowley, Gerald and Joe, and it's over the line, and Gerald McCarthy has come out on the country patch down in Udras. Whether he has hurt himself or not, I'm not sure. Gerald looking to see was he getting a free there, but he wasn't. It's a line ball taken by Richie Reid. Mick Brennan's puck blocked down. Mick Brennan getting it again, and that's what a high one. Martin Coleman in the goal. Tim Crowley. And Joe Hennessy trying a climbing effort there that just didn't work. And Joe tapping the ball back a bit there. The ball being packed, uh, tapped back there a little bit, and uh, John Hawkins bringing it back to where the incident occurred. John Horgan's puck is high, John Horgan's puck hits the upright. What are the odds against that? It's Ray Commons with the ball. Back for Johnny Leary. Johnny's puck is blocked down. Clear down. Jekyll McCarthy. And the sides are level. Certainly, the odds against a ball hit from so far out, hitting the upright, must be enormous. The ball coming out, Shawnee Leary taking a belt at it. The ball eventually going out to Gerald McCarthy, who made no mistake, making it Cork three points, Kilkenny one goal, that's three points each. Matt Root, Billy Fitzpatrick now, being chased by Dermot McCurtain. And Billy puts, no he doesn't, the umpire signals it's wide, it was just to the left of the upright, and it went wide. There were a lot of people who thought it went over the bar, but the umpire didn't, and that's the main thing. And funnily enough, Billy didn't either, otherwise he would have had a few words to say there, I would say. Frank Cummins, the defending centre field player, if you like, nicely doubled up by Billy Fitzpatrick. This is Mick Brennan. Mick Brennan's shot is high, and it too has gone wide. Two chances for the lead there. Gone up begging for Kilkenny. Mick Brennan, one of the chief scorers for Kilkenny during the year. He scored eight points for them. That is their fourth wide and two in quick succession. This is Martin Coleman. Jimmy Barry Murphy trying to get room to swing the stick, but there's not much room out there with Richie Reid around. And the clearance just dribbling out over the sideline. Pat Moylan's line puck. Gerald McCarthy. Ger Henderson kicking it away. Who says they haven't got footballers at Kilkenny? Tim Crowley. It's high, and it is the lead for Cork again. Tim Crowley sends that one over, making the score. Cork four points, Kilkenny three. Tim's first score of the game. <coughs> Noel Skeen with the puck out. And the referee checking that there's a deliverer of a spare Hurley removed from the field and Noel Skeen takes the puck out. This is Tom Cashman. 
Ray Cummins has come out now, and Fat Larkin is after him. Ray takes his shot, and it's gone wide, and there's a cork chance gone a-begging. Ray, who is playing his effort of coming out field and taking Fan Larkin with him, he had a chance of a score there from an awkward enough angle. He sent it wide, and the score remains cork four points, that is, uh, four points, and Kilkenny one goal, that is three points. And Cork have had three wides, Kilkenny have had four. Nicely brought down there by the Cork man, but Frank Cummins twice as nicely took advantage of it. And Martin Coleman pretending he was going to have a belt of that, but letting it dribble away and go wide. He changes his hurley now to take the one that he uses for pucking the ball out. Joe Henderson, hooped there by Gerald McCarthy, who was helped by Tom Cashman, who sidesteps lovely there. And Van Larkin blocking it down. Dick O'Hara is there, Charlie McCarthy's there, Ray Cummins is there, they're all there. And it's Joe Hennessy who's the man who's really there. Out to Chucky O'Brien. Dennis Corlin. just inside the Kilkenny 65 metre line, out near the sideline, and the fair-haired man from Blackrock, John Horgan, is about to take it. It's gone towards the right, it's too high for Charlie to get up to, he'd want some of his lathers to get to it, he didn't, and it went wide. Four to three in favour of Cork. All skiing once again. Brian Murphy trying to block off the ball there, but it goes towards the court goal. Martin Doherty steadying himself. And Jimmy Brady Murphy in behind the two Geralds. Up down to Charlie. What a lovely interception by Dick O'Hara. Dick O'Hara coming up field. Gerald McCarthy coming to meet him. The Kenny ball there. Exactly on the halfway line. Richie Reid coming down to take it. Cork leading by one point. This is Brian Cody. And he tipped it to Mick Brennan. Mick takes a shot, and the sides are level again. Mick Brennan, the scorer. 18 minutes gone, first half. Cork four points, Kilkenny one goal and a point. That's four points each. First point of the game for Mick Brennan there. Martin Coleman with the puck out. Tim Crowley getting back behind the ball there. Whoops. Very nicely upsed too. Van Larkin out to this side of the field. Shawnee Leary's come out for it. Shawnee takes his shot and it's gone over the bar. A point for Shawnee Leary. And Shawnee feeling the back of his head there as if he got the tap. Cork five points, one goal and one point for Kilkenny, and Shawnee still feeling the back of his head as if he got a knock uh, as he took that point. Puck out by Noel Skeen. This is Frank Cummins. What a great game he's having. Frank Cody in possession, trying to get inside Martin Doherty. Dennis Collin in there to help. The referee is called for the ball and is awarded a free in for Kilkenny, dead straight in front of the goal, but it is not a penalty. They can load every man from the County Cork in there in that goal if they want to. Liam O'Brien to take the shot. Will he be glad to take a point or try for a goal? He takes the point. The Kilkenny point scored by Chucky O'Brien. 
racing out to take his position again and the sides are level at five points each Cork five points Kilkenny one goal and two and we make it about 20 minutes gone in the first half Oh, a lovely long tuck out. It drops way down near the 21 meter line. That's Joe Hennessy for Kilkenny. But his clearance has gone out over the sideline, putting Cork into an attacking position. With Pat Moylan to take the line ball. Right across it, where Jimmy Barry tries to get to, and he's pushed off the ball there by Joe Henderson. John Crowley. Jimmy Barry Murphy who is fouled and there is a free for Cork dead straight in front of the goal and the referee having a quiet word with Dick O'Hara and I think quiet word is all that that particular incident merited free for Cork dead straight in front of the goal about 30 metres out Charlie McCarthy and Cork lead again with Charlie McCarthy sending it over making it now Six points for Cork, one goal and two points for Kilkenny, six points to five, and that's Charlie's first of the day. <coughs> John Crowley. And again, John Crowley has been covered on by Gerald McCarthy. Ray Cobbles and Jimmy Barry Murphy and Shawnee Leary. Shawnee racing for it, he gets it. No, he doesn't. It's gone wide. It's gone wide, and Shawnee's gone to tumbling over the end line and uh, almost into his Coca Cola down at the back of the goal. But he doesn't look any the worse for wear. Just didn't get to it as the ball went wide. Lowell skiing. Mick Crotty being chased by Dermot McCurtain. Kilkenny shaping into a forward movement now. They can get that ball out. But it's Cork that bring it out. It's Dermot McCurtain. The battle of the Journals and General McCarthy has got a knife on the head. And the referee has awarded a free there. And you can hear from the reaction of the crowd that the Kilkenny supporters certainly don't like the decision of the free and the referee is calling Joe Henderson over and what well, he called him over and now he's going up to have a chat with him just saying don't and that was not a decision that was uh, unanimously received shall we say John Horgan with the free and John Horgan with another wide this is not John's day by any means. That's the sixth wide of the game for the Corkmen, who, however, have also scored six points against Kilkenny's one goal and two. Now, five wides for Kilkenny, I should say. Five wides for Kilkenny. What's this going to be? John Crowley, Brian Cody, Mick Brennan. Martin Doherty, Frank Cummins. Oh, a dangerous ball, Matt Ruth going out for it. Got out here now by Billy Fitzpatrick. Billy's shot is high, Billy's shot is over the bar, and once again they're level. Billy Fitzpatrick, who came into this game with a golden eight to his credit in the championship, sending that one over to make them level. Cork six points, Kilkenny. One goal and three, that's six points apiece. Out comes the puck out to Jimmy Barry Murphy. Jimmy Barry's shot is just barely wide, just to the left of the post and has gone wide. And for the fourth time in the game, the sides are level. Well, whoever said there was only a puck of a ball between them, he seemed to be right. Up to now, anyway. There isn't even the puck of a ball between them at the moment. Mick Crotty may make it just that. Mick Crotty in towards the goal, and it's still 
in danger for Cork, but Martin Coleman clears it. Dermot McCurtain being chased out here, the ball's gone over the line. It was a photo finish, but the ball was over the line. Linesman George Somerville just walking up to the position in which the ball went out as Frank Cummins comes to take the cut in. A low one. Pat Boyle. Can't quite get it away, then kicks it away. Well, that right foot might have done well in the Munster football final. This time, I cleared the ball out over the sideline for a line ball for Kilkenny. Martin Doherty. He seems to have a basket attached to his hand, the way he seems to get the ball into his hand, no matter where it is. The Jews again, but this time Van Larkin comes in, and Van Stearns is out over the sideline. Today's game will be remembered for many things, including the Battle of the Jews. Joe Henderson and Gerald McCarthy. Tim Crowley has come centre field for Cork, and Tom Cashman gone left half forward. Dermot McCurtain, up over the Jews, up to the Charlie McCarthy and Dick O'Hara. Charlie kicking it out to the waiting Ray Cummins. Ray steadies himself, sends it high in towards the goal, deflected out by Noel Skeen. Very well to the waiting Joe Hennessy. And Joe puts Vim into that clearance. But the ball has gone over the sideline. A lovely clearance by Noel Skeen, tapping it down to the waiting Joe Hennessy. But Joe's clearance went out over the sideline. Line ball for Cork. And there's Noel who tapped that ball out so well. This is Tim Crowley, moved out to the centre of the field. And Charlie McCarthy trying to get back in. Van Larkin kicking it out. This is Dick O'Hara, followed by Ray Cummins. And the referee awards a free to Kenny for a push on Dick O'Hara. And this free will be taken. Or is it a free or is it a line ball? It is a free, it is a free, the referee signalled, and Noel Skeen is coming out from the goal to take it. It's about 25 metres out from the Kilkenny goal. A little bit more now. Noel to take it. A lovely puck blocked down by Martin Doherty, Pat Moylan running onto it. Is hooshed off the ball, the referee waved the play on, and the ball has gone off Pat Boylan, and is a line ball for Kilkenny to be taken by Chunky O'Brien. The sides are level, 27 minutes gone in the first half. And the referee is going over and having a word with Pat Boylan, who was quite aggrieved with the fact that he didn't get a free there. Chunky O'Brien's cut is high, it's into the goalkeeper's hand, and the goalkeeper clears it out far side of the field. Tom Cashman. And the referee awards him a free. Just outside the Cork 45 metre line, John Horgan to take it. Well, I saw John score a point from this position or there about in the Munster final. I don't expect to see it today. Oh, what did I say? Right into the goal mouth that's gone. It's deflected in by Charlie McCarthy. Noel Skeen has it in the goal, and the referee has quite rightly penalised Charlie McCarthy for being inside the square when that ball was coming in, and there is a free out for Kilkenny. And Charlie walking away to take his position. He's like a little bald boy that was caught with his hand in the jam or something, the way he walked out there. John Crowley trying to get away from Mick Crowley, and uh, he pulls a little bit previous there, previous to the ball being there, so there's a free to Kilkenny. Kilkenny's chance to go into the lead, 45 metres out, slightly to the left of the goal. You'll see the shot. Chucky O'Brien. There it is. Chunky O'Brien. Kilkenny, one goal and four points. That's seven points. Cork, six points.
Another long put out and held by Ger Henderson. And Ger thundering up the field now. Decides he'd get rid of it. In further by Billy Fitzpatrick, Mick Brennan and Martin Doherty. Martin's clearance it was intended to be a pass to Dennis Collin, but it went to Brian Cody. Mick Brennan out there. And the ball high and to the left and wide. Five minutes to go to half time. Kilkenny leading by one point, one goal and four points. That's seven points to Cork, six points. And Mick Brennan going back into his position as Matt Ruth does likewise. This is Pat Moylan. Trying to feed it out to Shorty, but I don't think he's going to get there. Out there after him, Paddy Prendergast, who's been entrusted with the job of keeping Shorty Leary in check. And Paddy going to take this line ball. Youngest man on the Kilkenny team. Oh, a low one. But it goes to Joe Henderson, who's being chased by Ray Cummins now. And Ray is penalised for holding on to Joe Henderson and Ray doesn't agree but uh, who cares the referee says it and so does Joe Henderson agree and I think most people will agree that he did hold Noel Skeen coming out to take it Tim Crowley what lovely catching of the ball we've had today Dermot McCurtain Charlie McCarthy and Charlie racing up now with Dick O'Hara from Charlie Texas and they're level again. Second point of the game for Charlie McCarthy and the fifth time the sides have been level. Cork seven points, Kilkenny one goal and four, seven points each. And we make it about 32 minutes gone in the first half. Tim Crowley lying loose with that ball, and the referee not at all happy with that swing there. And the referee writing the name of Kevin Fennelly in his little book. And another foul like that, and Kilkenny would be minus Kevin Fennelly. Wide stance. Three Cork men going for it, and they mess it up between them. A fourth one comes in to help. A fifth one comes in to help. It's Tim Crowley. The way the Kilkenny man, Billy Fitzpatrick, is trying to keep pace with him and succeeding in doing so, and the referee has penalised uh, the Cork man for two catches there, carrying the ball too far. But it was delightful to see the way that Billy Fitzpatrick was chasing the cork man, making sure that he didn't have room to swing his stick, and he did it, well, reasonably legitimately anyway. Joe Henderson with the free. Dermot McCartan is going in the sideline. It's gone over the sideline. Coming up now to take this line ball, Richie Reid, up on top of the right now, Kevin Fennelly for Kilkenny, and right half forward is Mick Brennan. Richie Reid with the cut in. Brian Cody doesn't quite get to it, Brian Murphy, he's put this knock down, Billy Fitzpatrick, Martin Doherty, Brian Murphy, Mick Crotty, Frank Cummins, Tim Crowley, and still things going bobbing around there. Mick Crowley trying to get it out. Mick Cummins, uh, Frank Cummins, penalised there. 
He may have picked it off the ground. He must have picked it off the ground. The referee was right beside him. Well, what a dithering there there was for about two minutes from both sides. We've about less than a minute, I would say, in the first half. John Horgan's free. Breaking out to Tom Cashman. Charlie McCarthy gone back out to get a pass if it comes his way, but the referee has called for the ball, and it is half-time. And so, at half-time, just listen to the crowd. Well, wasn't it a most exciting first half? And with the drums disappearing, by ear and by eye. Everything's set now for the restart. Seven points apiece. 35 minutes between now and glory for Kilkenny or for Cork. And the second half on. This is Mick Brennan. General McCarthy getting there. Nicely pulled by Richie Reed up along the far side. This is Brian Murphy being tackled. Getting the ball away to Dermot McCurtain. And Dermot, uh, it appeared to be hopping the ball in his hand there, but he got away with it. And uh, Mick Brennan upfield now. Matt Reed. And Dennis Collin cleared him way down the field. Loose man, Mick Brennan. High, lovely ball, a lovely ball, it's over the bar. Mick Brennan, the scorer, eight points to seven now in favour of uh, Kilkenny. That is uh, one goal and five points for Kilkenny, seven points for Cork, and Mick's second point of the game. And the bright sunshine of the referee is waving at something or other. Uh, the bright sunshine of the first half has disappeared. Referee waving down towards the goalkeeper to take the puck out again. And now the referee is satisfied, the goalkeeper satisfied. Everybody's satisfied. Shorty Leary. Three for Cork inside the Kilkenny 45 meter line and Tom Cashman down injured. This free to be taken by Pat Moylan. Remember the score is eight to seven in favor of Kilkenny and this is a chance for Pat Moylan to equalize and if he does they will have been level for six times in the game if he does. They're still attending to Tom, and the referee has held up the game to see that the young man is all right, giving him a pat at the back there to say, come on, Tom. The court crowd down behind the goal on our left with their red and white flags, encouraging Charlie McCarthy to send this one over the bar. It is Charlie who's going to take it now instead of Pat Boylan. And uh, Tom Cashman looks pretty shaken. Well, we have to tie the lace of the boot anyway, he says. Game goes on. It's over, it's a point. Charlie McCarthy, the scorer. And that is his third point of the game. And the score is now eight points for Kilkenny, eight points for Cork. That is one goal and five for Kilkenny, eight points for Cork. Three minutes gone in the second half. Noel Skeen. Oh, good long puck. Dennis Carlin. Tim Crowley race for it, Mick Brennan racing for it. It's a dead heat. Nice bit of hooking out there by Willie Fitzpatrick. Very quick lifting by Dermot McCurtain. Gerald McCarthy. Charlie McCarthy. Van Larkin and Ray Cummins, and it goes off Ray's boot, and it's a Kilkenny ball. 
At least that's how it reads from up here, and I think that is how it reads. Langsman placing the ball on the 13-meter line. Dick O'Hara takes the cut up to Mick Trotty. Out comes John Horgan. Jimmy Barry Murphy can't keep it in play. It's gone over the line. Line ball for Kilkenny. Sides are level, I'll remember now. And a lot of the fast-flowing hurling of the early stages gone out of the game at this moment because they all know that a mishit could lose an All-Ireland. And the ball gone over the end line and wide. Martin Coleman. Mark F. Ruth now up in the forward line, but he's waiting for the ball to come out and come back into him again. Here's Mark Coleman about to send it out. And Jimmy Barry Murphy racing away now. This is the ball he likes to have in front of him, getting it up on his stick. It's not the way, but he gets it again. And he's penalised. The ball now, the ball is in the net. But Jimmy Barry Murphy is penalised, and there is a free out for Kilkenny. And Noel Skeen coming out to take the free. There it is. On the 20 meter line. Martin Doherty. John Horton back there. Matt Ruth pushes him, and there's a free out for Cork. And there seems to be a few words of encouragement or otherwise between a couple of the players there. Uh, of the one team, let me add. John Horgan. Pat Moylan, first time in it. Charlie McCarthy. Caught around the neck and almost losing at least his helmet. A free for Cork. Almost dead straight in front of the goal. Can this be the lead for Cork again? His fourth of the game, and Cork going to the lead with our captain scoring that one. Cork, nine points, Kilkenny, one goal and five. Nine points to eight. Seven minutes gone. Second half. Back on Kilkenny. John Horgan. Coming into his own in the second half. Jimmy Barry Murphy, out to the wing towards Shawnee Leary. Shawnee trying to get to it, but Noel Skeen is there before him. In fact, the line is there before the two of them, and the ball dribbles out over it, and it's wide. Nine points to eight. Kilkenny going back to their old attack of Mick Brennan, top of the right, and Kevin Fennelly at right half forward. Mick Trotty lying deep in the... Cork defensive area expecting a loud puck out. And that's what it is, but it's John Crowley who belts it down. John having a fine game for the Cork man up along the wing. Charlie McCarthy trying to whip it upfield, but Dick O'Hara injecting his stick there and getting the ball up, but it comes back again. Here's Charlie, he's lost his stick, but Ray Cummins takes a shot, a save, a good save by Noel Skeen. This is Kevin Fennelly now. Is this another equaliser? It's again, it's hit the post. Oh, the odds against that. The odds against him at hitting the post twice in the game from so far out. Well, John Horgan did it earlier and Kevin Fennelly did it there. It looked like the equaliser when it left his stick, but it just tailed away. Still 9 to 8 in favour of Cork. Gerald McCarthy and Joe Henderson. And Joe Henderson having the battle, the best of this tussle at this stage. Martin Doherty, a little bit lucky there. Nice pull there by Kevin Fennelly. 
John Horgan. Turning the fence into attack. Jimmy Barry Murphy. But it's Joe Hennessy who nips it up for Kilkenny. Brian Cody. The pride of the ball again. And John Horgan again. Nipping in with a good clearance. Richie Reid. Oh, a lovely ball from... No, it's just gone wide. It looked for a moment as if it was going in and over the bar, but it went wide, and it's still 9-8. to eight. Nine wides for Kilkenny, and seven for Cork. Nine points for Cork, eight for Kilkenny. Cork leading by this one point. Martin Coleman with the sun gone. Lovely catch there by Ger Henderson. Kevin Fennelly. Martin Doherty goes up. The ball goes off his hand. This is Brian Murphy. He's across from his own wing. He's being bottled up there. And he has brought the ball out over the end line. I'm just looking to see whether the referee is giving a free for his holding the ball too long. Or it is... It is a 65. It's a 65. The referee pointed up towards where the play was, and I thought he had given a free for holding onto the ball too long. Instead, it is a 65. The free given to an attacking team when a defender hits the ball over the end line. And Joe Hennessy sends it high. Joe Hennessy sends it over the bar. And yes, they're level again. Nine points apiece. Cork. Nine points, Joe Hennessy the scorer of that one. Kilkenny one goal and six, nine points each. And Joe, who's been scoring points, that's his third of the championship and it is his uh, first of today. Tim Crowley getting the ball up into his hand. And the ball gone over the line as Paddy Prendergast and Shawnee Leary standing shoulder to shoulder, try to get to it, but they can't. Neither of them can, in fact. Shawnee coming out now. That bandaged knee doesn't seem to be giving him any bother. Dennis Corlin. John Crowley. Frank Cummins, Chunky O'Brien, John Crowley, Frank Cummins again, John Crowley off his stick, Martin Doherty. They look like ballerinas or something, the way they go up for the ball. In a way, this is Matt Root going through with the ball. He passed out to the side to Kevin Finley, deflected. Martin Doherty, as if he had a shovel, trying to get it out there. And the referee penalises Cork, and there is a free-in for Kilkenny from about 25 metres out from the Cork goal and slightly to the left of it. Will Kilkenny go into the lead here? Liam O'Brien to take it. It's over the bar and Kilkenny lead again. The third time during the game, the Kilkenny have led, and Chunky O'Brien, the scorer of that one, his second point of the game, and Kilkenny now lead 10 to 9. That's one goal and seven points for Kilkenny, nine points for Cork. One point between them. Puck out. Jimmy Barry Murphy. Jordan McCarthy feeding Charlie McCarthy, intended anyway. Dick O'Hara alongside him, Dick O'Hara penalised for pushing Charlie, and there is a free in for Cork from about 25 metres out from the Kilkenny goal and right out of the sideline. You can see the awkward angle, and Charlie is going to have a go at equalising. Charlie McCarthy, the captain of the team. He sends it in, and it is the equaliser. What a point from that awkward angle, and now, once again, they are ten points each, they are level again. 
Cork 10 points, Kilkenny 1 goal and 7. That is the eighth time that they have been level in the game and for Charlie McCartney it is the fifth score of the game. Puck out by Noel Skeen. Mick Brennan. And Martin Coleman watching it going towards him. Hawkeye. And Joe, Joe Henderson catching that ball. And with Joe McCarthy, Joe McCarthy in under you, waiting to pull in that ball as it comes down. It takes the heart of a zoo full of lions to put a hand up there. Dennis McCurt. This is Joe Hennessy. Mick Brennan, tripped by his own man there. John Crowley, Tim Crowley. They're both Crowleys, but they're not related. And Tim shot. Oh, a lovely point there. A lovely point there, scored by Tim Crowley. A Crowley combination in their own half. Tim soloing up the far side of the field and then lobbing that ball over the bar to give Cork the lead by one point once again. 11 points to 10, and right now there is a substitution in the Cork team. Who is coming off? Tom Cashman is coming off the Cork team, but this is one of the Kilkenny men who is down injured. It's Kevin Kennelly who collided with one of his own men and is being attended to. Tom Cashman, who played a fine game for Cork there, going off the field and on for uh, Cork. We'll check him in a second. It's, it's John Allen who has come on. John Allen has come on for Cork and the attention to Kevin Fennelly is over. He collided with one of his old men a moment ago. Kilkenny man is up, is all right, and it is back to the game with 11 points for Cork, one goal and seven, 11 to 10 for Kilkenny. One point between them. John Crowley trying to tap it down, but it's got by Brian Cody, who's moved out to the half line. Brian sends it high, it's just to the left and wide. One point between them. 17 minutes gone, 18 minutes left. Martin Coleman's puck out. Jimmy Barry Murphy being about to be tackled by Joe Henderson. Matt Ruth is down to help. Frank Cummins with half a hurley is in the middle of it. Richie Reid out to this side of the field. And the ball went by Pat Boyle as it came across into Ray Cummins. Ray's Misses the shot, a fresh air shot there, most unusual for him. Pat Boylan, his jersey pulled and there's a free for Cork. A look of indignation on the two Kilkenny men, but they should be up where we are. We could see that jersey stretching and I know you could too. Charlie McCarthy, is he going to stretch this lead to two points? There's the shot. that there were as many as two points between the sides. Way back in the sixth minute, uh, Kilkenny had a goal and Cork had a point. That was the only time previously that there were two points between them. That was after six minutes of play. And John Crowley has got a knock in the head over that dropping ball. But the ball breaks to Tim Crowley, being chased now by Frank Cummins. Oh, not, uh, yes, he is, and Frank gets the better of it. Pat Boyle, I'm not too sure where it's gone. Jerry McCarthy coming in, and the referee uh, not penalising anybody there. I thought for a moment he was waving his stick on his hand. Uh, in fact, it was the linesman waving his flag that was the part that counted. The line ball there for Cork. 
Johnny Leary trying to get it up. There's a Kilkenny substitution in a moment. Ball comes back out to Gerald McCarthy. Gerald sends it and sends it over. And Cork now lead by three points. Gerald McCarthy scoring that one, the 13th point for Cork. And Kilkenny, one goal and seven. Tommy Malone is on the Kilkenny team and gone off is Kevin Family. And this is Tommy Malone. The man with the flowing locks and the beard to match. Up along this side of the field. Nick Brennan. But the referee has called for the ball and he is awarding a free to Kilkenny just as he awarded a free to Cork a few moments ago for a bit of jersey pulling. Three points between them. Chucky O'Brien trying to reduce that to two. There he is. And here's his shot. And he has reduced it to two. Now there are only two points between them again. Liam O'Brien. The scorer of that one. His fourth score of the game. Kilkenny one goal and eight points. But Cork leading. Having 13 points. One goal and eight. That equals 11. John Allen back onto that game, that ball. Out comes Dick O'Hara. This is John Crowley. Dick O'Hara and Charlie McCarthy under deflected into the centre. Van Larkin there. Dick O'Hara there. Charlie McCarthy is after them. Nicely held by Frank Cummins, who in turn was nicely held by Tim Crowley. And the referee, of course, awarding a free to get Kenny. A long one. Mick Trotty got in full forward. Goalkeeper Martin Coleman has come out. The umpire signals that it's wide. Mick Trotty adamant that it was a cork man that hit it. And the cork man walking away as if they didn't know there was even an argument. Two points between them. Cork leading by 13 points to 11. 21 minutes gone. Second half. 14 minutes left in the game. And Ray Cummins was trying to scoot that one out to Jimmy Barry Murphy, but oh, lovely feet by Dennis Collin. Pat Barnum missing that one. Chunky O'Brien getting back into position. Mick Brennan. Dermot McCartan holding it. Brought down by Matt Ruth, who has gone at left half forward, while Willie Fitzpatrick has gone up the top of the left for Kilkenny. There's another substitution coming up in a moment for Kilkenny. Pat Henderson is in the game. One of the greats of Kilkenny, Pat Henderson. Pat Henderson got in, pulled back, and going off is Chucky O'Brien. In fact, Pat Henderson not pulled back, but centre half back. Long ball in towards the goal. Hands going out to him. Jimmy Barry Murphy with a shot that's low, and it's the goal! Jimmy Barry Murphy, the scorer of the goal that can win in Ireland. There it is, Jimmy Barry out of the wing. He takes his shot low, that hopping ball in front of the goalkeeper. It foiled the defence. Dick O'Hara may have taken the eye line of uh, the goalkeeper, Noel Steen. Whatever happened, there's the joy man of the day. And there he is again. Cork, one goal and 13 points. Kilkenny, one goal and eight. Five points between them, but look at, don't run away with the idea that this game is over. Look at this ball where it is now. Mick Brennan with it, a shot that's deflected, and it is a 65, but no, it's not, it's wide. It's wide, I thought it was uh, blocked down by a cork man, but uh, the umpire thought otherwise, and he was in position to see. 23 of the 35 minutes gone. Five points between them now, and this is the biggest gap that's been between them all game. Ball way downfield, Van Larken, Pat Henderson, 
brother of Joe and Pat Hell. Well, hitting that ball up there that time, that wasn't a very good idea in a way for Pat because it makes the clock keep ticking away there and seconds are, would be all in favour of Kilkenny at this stage who trail by five points. Well, up front, here's Matt Braddock. Oh, he's trying to burrow his way in for Billy Fitzpatrick. It's a goal! It's a goal! Billy Fitzpatrick, the scorer. There he is. I told you this game wasn't over yet. The ball passed across to Billy Fitzpatrick, and there's the low shot that crashed into the net, and it's a goal, and now there are only two points between them. And there's the glory boy of the moment for Kilkenny. Cork, 113, Kilkenny two goals and eight points that is 16 to 14 line ball for Cork 10 minutes left in the game Shawnee Leary full forward for Cork Ray Cummins playing at top of the left Ball gone out over the sideline, nine ball for Kilkenny. Two points between them, that dangerous lead for anybody until the final whistle is gone. Dennis Collin. Into the centre, Richie Reid trying to get it out. Ball taken away from him by Jimmy Barry Murphy. Shawnee Leary back to Charlie McCarthy. Charlie shot it wide. Wide. And now let's have a look and see how these teams are shaping up because there's switches all round the place. Dennis Collin is centre half back for Cork at the moment. John Crowley is left half back. And there's Dennis Collin. This is Ray Cummins heading for the ball before it gets to the line. Well, the line's been inside so that the ball is over the line. Certainly Ray was. The linesman can look straight up that line and see whether the ball is out or not, and he looked and he saw and he decided. Paddy Prendergast, cut back down by Ray Cummins. And there's the insurance point. That's a point for Ray Cummins, putting Cork down three points ahead again. The insurance that even if Kilkenny get a goal now, the sides would be level. The score, Cork. One goal and 14 points. Kilkenny, two goals and 18 points, 17 to 14. Tim Crowley, Pat Boylan. Ball coming out to Joe Hennessy, who's all alone. John Crowley batted it down, but Jack Henderson, for once misjudging, has been chased here. Gerald McCarthy, Charlie McCarthy, Dick O'Hara. Charlie getting it up. Charlie would have got marks for diving there, I'd say. That ball coming out now to John Allen. And John Allen's to the left of the upright and wide. I must say, Charlie tried very hard, but a little bit obvious, I think, even for Charlie. Three points between them. There's John Allen, who came out as a sub some time ago. And the ball swings upfield again. Joe Henderson surely playing at Captain's Park today. Tim Crowley. Ray Cummins coming out now from Paddy Prendergast. And here's Ray on the go. Shorty Leary is inside. Ray takes a shot and he sends it wide. Ray, who moved out to the left, leaving Shawnee into the centre. Fitter than Ray has been at any stage today. There's a Star Spangled Banner up in the middle of the hill. Well, what about a Star Spangled Banner? Let's forget about that and let's get on with the game as it comes out to within 45 metres of the Cork goal. A free for Kilkenny. Free for Kilkenny on the, just outside the 45 metre line and 
right over near the sideline, and there's nobody going to take it. They're, they're calling people. Nobody got now Frank Cummins has decided that he's going to take it. There are messages from the far side that Joe Hennessy should take it, but it is Frank Cummins who will take this free, which he lobs in towards the goal. Deflected in the crowd by Mark Coleman. Nice short pass, well placed to Dermot McCurtain. Jimmy Barry Murphy breaks his stick with the pull over there. Ball breaks to Dick O'Hara. John Crowley, what a wonderful game he's having. Held there, however. And there is a free out for court. Tommy Malone getting a hold of him there, and this is John Horgan. Well, we've just over five minutes left in the game. Cork 114, that's 17 points. Kilkenny 28, that is 14 points. Martin Doherty got out there. Just getting rid of that ball in time before he had it too long. Dennis Carlin. Pat Moylan, Joe Henderson, Pat Moylan coming away with the ball now. And here he is with the ball in his stick. Chucky O'Brien hasn't done it today, but Pat Moylan has. A nice shot in towards the goal. Van Larkin getting the better of the tussle with Shawnee Leary. Two Corkmen getting in one another's way there. And Joe Henderson doesn't let a thing like that happen without taking advantage. Brian Cody has the ball. Billy Fitzpatrick. Ball coming out now. Out to Tommy Malone. John Crowley after him. Oh, a lovely dropping shot across the goal. Matt Root getting it toward the goal, but no, it's wide. It's wide. Matt Root getting his hand up to that one as if he was going to get it into the goal, but it just got away from him and went wide. And still. Three points between them, with four minutes left of the game, Cork leading by these three points. Martin Coleman with the puck out. This is Sean Inary going for it now. Paddy Prendergast, Joe Hennessy. Cork trying all they can to hold on. Can Kenny coming up now, trying to do something. Colin caught Mick Crotty by the leg, and Mick Crotty didn't like being caught by the leg, as you saw. And it was originally a foul to catch the man by the leg, but when the Kilkenny man retaliated, there is a throw in. And a man being sent off the field over there, coming in with instructions. If I'm not mistaken, it was Christy Ring who came on there giving a word of advice. Ball comes to General McCarthy. Shawnee Leary tries to get to it. Paddy Prendergast, by the way, has gone in full back now on Shawnee. Frank Cummins. Out towards the far side of the field. Dermot McCurtain. Pat Marlon getting it away. Here's Richie Reid now. What a long relieving clearance from Richie would do for Kilkenny now. But not if they leave Dennis Collin all alone, but Dennis's clearance gets off his stick. It's over the sideline. Over the sideline, Eamon O'Donoghue is in the game now for uh, Cork. But there's a live ball for Kenny with about two minutes left of the game. They trail by three points. A high ball across the goal mouth, and Martin Coleman under defence there, brings it out over the end line, and there's a 65 for Kilkenny, right to the right of the goal, about five metres to the right of the goal. And Shawnee Leary has gone off the court team and has been replaced as he walks over on the far side, down on the left, going over to the substitute bench, but the concentration on Joe Hennessy to take what could be the most important free of his life. He loves it short. He tries to get it in towards his half-forwards, but it's the half-backs 
to come out with it. Tim Crowley out to Hennessy. And Hennessy gets a knock there as the Cork men came storming in on top of him. Avon O'Donoghue, Paddy Prendergast. Just over a minute left in the game now. Ray Cummins with his hand up, way out the field. And Ray penalised for carrying the ball too far. Joe Hennessy. Joe Hennessy up and is all right. The referee placing the ball, or the linesman placing the ball on the halfway line. Less than a minute between the All Ireland title and Cork or Kilkenny. Can Kilkenny get the goal out of this final attack? Here they come into the goal. Dennis Gorman coming out with the ball. It's shown it fairly. He goes over with it. The ball comes to Jeff Henderson. He gets it in towards the goal. A shot that's gone wide. And Kilkenny may well have shot their final bolt. And what an effort they've put into putting this game out of the fire. Cork sense that the title is there. The score, Cork 1-14, Kilkenny 2-8. Martin Coleman with the puck out. The stopwatch ticking over. Referee looking at his watch. Down the field it comes. Eamon O'Donoghue, but Paddy Prendergast is back there. Charlie McCarthy is back there. Clearance comes out to Jimmy Barry Murphy. Ray Cummins leaves it to Gerald McCarthy, who's going to get it anyway, I bet, from Ray Cummins. No, Charlie McCarthy gets it. And Charlie Shed is high and over the bar. Well, I make it. 35, almost 36 minutes gone. Cork, although the whistle hasn't gone, are the champions. They must be the champions. Their bench waiting to run in to cheer and chair them. The referee running for the ball and Cork for the All-Ireland champions. And the players hugging one another, friend and friend, friend and rival. It was certainly, I think you'll agree, an entertaining game. And a swapping of jerseys down there, Jerry McCarthy and Joe Hennessy. And Cork have won their 24th All-Ireland title. Once again, congratulations to everybody. A particular congratulations to Cork. August Anish, Tarsha, 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 Tarsha,